Welcome back to Bobblehead George. Today, with the help of periodic presidents, we're going to take a look at POTUS number three, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, a member of the Democratic Republican Party, served two terms in office. When you look at the periodic cell, you will see that he served from 1801 to 1809. If you look at the left side of the cell, you'll note that he's featured on the $2 bill as well as the nickel. The purple color of the cell indicates that he was a member of the Democratic Republican Party. A man of science, Jefferson took every opportunity he could to learn and enrich his life. He was always ready to accept new theories and new discoveries, even if they contradicted his own beliefs. He believed that inventions were the ultimate practical expression of scientific discoveries. After all, knowledge should have some practical application. To this end, Jefferson is credited with inventing or improving many inventions, such as the swivel chair, the polygraph, the letterpress, a pedometer, moldboard plow, a folding chair, dumb waiters, double acting door, a seven day clock, and a wind vane that can be seen at his home in Monticello, outside the east wing, where you can tell the direction of the wind even in a rainstorm. One of the largest accomplishments during his presidency was the purchase of the Louisiana Territory from France. Adding 828,000 square miles of land, this purchase nearly doubled the young nation. He was extremely interested in the West, and he sent Lewis and Clark on an expedition through the Louisiana Territory and gave them very specific instructions to observe and record fossils, specimens, Indian vocabularies, flora, fauna, mineral samples, make topographical maps, chart waterways, and observe the Indian culture. Several artifacts are on display in his home in Monticello. He personally saw himself as Thomas Jefferson, not the lawyer, not the farmer, not the statesman, but the scientist. Either way, all of his contributions to our young nation helped to shape it to what it is today. If you want to learn more about presidents, presidential elections, the Constitution, and so much more, be sure to check out Periodic Presidents at periodicpresidents.com. To make sure you don't miss out on more original history content, click up here. And to see the previous president, click down here. We'll see you next time.